what you wanna do? Do see me with the crew? I done get some food. That's who you looking like you do. Had to make a move, make a move. If this content is entertaining or informative and helped you in any way, or if you have a video topic request about absolutely anything, send a donation to the Cash App or follow me on social media. Peace. Hey, it's Nate Almighty. Do me a favor. Before you watch the rest of this video, go ahead, hit that bell, man. Subscribe, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Peace. Morning walks, morning talks, fellas. Listen, man. To every dude that's watching this, if you dealing with a girl and she's on welfare, it's an oxymoron. Why you dealing with her? Why you dealing with a anything beyond just smashing? Do not make a girl your girlfriend if she is on welfare. Public assistance. Reason being, she's probably lazy. Probably lazy, okay? Now, when welfare was established, it was supposed to be used as a stepping stone to help poor people, mainly women, because we all know they use it to get the dudes out the house. That's the only way they was able to get them benefits. But they're supposed to use it as a stepping stone to where they wouldn't need it no more. This is what my mother did, and this is why I call every woman lazy, okay? And this is why my mother and my baby mama had issues, and why my baby mama has an issue with my mom. And why I was so hard on my baby mama, because my baby mama had my son when she was 17 years old, okay? 17 years old. My mother had my older sister when she was 15 years old. Now, my mother had all intentions on staying with her baby father and marrying him. But it just so happens that the dude was living a double life. He was a military man, he was living a double life. Months after my mom had my older sister, the dude comes home one day with a whole nother child and said, look, this is this is my son or this is my daughter. And he basically wanted to have my mother and his other baby mother. My mother was not with that, so she left. Young, 15 years old. What she did was she relinquished her parenting rights, not legally. But what she did was she took my older sister Yvette to my aunt Jessie. May she rest in peace. Great woman, saint. And she raised my older sister most of the time until my older sister was about five years old. And in the middle of that time, my mother graduated high school. She started college, got her associate's degree, right? And then began working for a bank. Eventually, she started working for Con Edison. She worked for Con Edison for 35 years. She had my, my, my second sister, Taisha, and then she had me in between that time. And initially, my mother was on welfare, okay? My mother, though, she had a lot of pride. As soon as, first of all, she made it her business to get to the point where she could financially sustain herself without a man and without welfare. And the first opportunity she got, she used a couple benefits she could, but as soon as she was able to take care of herself and her children, she let welfare go, okay? Before my mother was 25, 30 years old, she was off welfare, never was on welfare again. My mother was never on welfare, raising me as a child, okay? I ended up in the streets because of all different reasons, but it wasn't because we was poor. It wasn't because I was a welfare kid, you know what I'm saying? And this is why I always judge women on welfare harshly because I feel like this. Y'all lazy, okay? And purposely, welfare makes you lazy because the more successful you get, 
the more self-sufficient, self-sustaining you get, they take away your benefits. And these women do not want to lose their benefits. So they stay in low-income housing. They keep their kids in these areas where it's a high concentration of poverty and negativity. They don't desire to go move into new places, meet new kinds of men to raise new kinds of children. And of course, any men involved with these women are 50% to blame. But in this case, I'm going to say 49%. And I'm going to give 51 to the women. Because at the end of the day, they have the they have way more of a uh, say so in whether these kids get born or not. Because of abortions, because of all these different things that could prevent a woman from having a child. And quite frankly, these women are just lazy, man. My mother really made it on her own. Became self-sustaining. Self-sufficient on her own, period. And now she's retired, living in South Carolina in a big ass house. A big ass house of her own. Welfare has changed black families forever. And we ain't gonna go back to how great we was, even though we were never perfect. Until we learn to depend on each other, take care of each other, and do away with this welfare shit. But this is the thing. Welfare ain't really going nowhere. So welfare ain't going nowhere. Lazy women ain't going nowhere. And the products of lazy women and men. What is what's ravaging and devastating our communities today? It ain't going to change. But hey, I guess the only thing we could do is still have hope for the future, right? Peace.